गुड मॉर्निंग गाइस इज विमल हेयर वेलकम बैक टू अनदर वीडियो ऑन माय चैनल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हैप्पी रिपब्लिक डे गाइस एंड जय हिंद टुडे वील बी चेकिंग आउट अ ब्रांड न्यू स्मार्ट वॉच फ्रॉम ऑनर इट्स द मैजिक वॉच टू एंड कम्स विद सम रियली कूल फीचर्स लाइक दिस थिंग हैज एन एमोलेड डिस्प्ले ब्लूटूथ कॉलिंग एंड ऑफर्स 14 डेज ऑफ बैटरी लाइफ आई बॉट इट ऑन द लॉन्च डे इटसेल्फ इन द सेल अ फ्यू डेज अगो एंड द गुड थिंग इज आई आल्सो गॉट दिस ऑनर ब्लूटूथ ईयरफोन्स फ्री विद द वॉच दे आर द ऑनर स्पोर्ट ब्लूटूथ ईयरफोन्स वर्थ अराउंड टू थाउजेंड रुपीज वील बी डूइंग ए रिव्यू ऑफ दीज ईयरफोन्स लेटर सेपरेटली In this particular video we'll only be talking about the smartwatch. So the Honor's new Magic Watch 2 comes in this sort of box packing. We've got the Honor branding and a picture of the product on the front. Let's quickly unbox it and check out what do we have on the inside. So on opening the box we've got the smartwatch at the top. Wow, now that looks beautiful. This watch comes in two different colors, charcoal black and also brown leather. I went with the black one as it had a more sporty look. Let me just take it out. Holy moly that's a beautiful looking watch and along with that you get a magnetic charging dock with a USB type C port a USB type C cable for charging and some documents which includes a warranty card and a user manual make sure to read them so these are all the items you got in the box now let me finally show you the watch this is our honor's new magic watch 2 looks like it's got a premium looking design and weighs around 41 grams and just by looking at it you can tell that it's got a sports kind of look and feel with the minute markings all over the bezel and talking about the display it's got a 1.39 inch amoled full round touch display with a resolution of 454 by 454 and to be honest guys the design kind of looks very similar to Huawei's Watch GT2 and also offers pretty similar features it's powered by Huawei's latest Kirin A1 chipset and can offer up to 2 weeks of battery life talking about the build quality the build quality is top notch the watch case enclosure is entirely made of 316l stainless steel material and is also 5 atm waterproof so even if you go swimming with the watch nothing will happen to it as you can see on the right side we've got two buttons over here a custom bottom button and a power slash multi function button just above that Talking about the straps, it's got high quality silicone straps that feel soft and durable, and this is how the back of the watch looks like. It's got two charging contacts, a heart rate sensor at the center, and wait, I haven't told you right, the straps on the watch are also replaceable. And the best part is, the Magic Watch 2 also comes with a built-in speaker as well as a microphone. This is a speaker on the right side, and microphone is on the left. Using them, you can directly make calls and talk from the watch itself via Bluetooth. That is awesome right well that was our quick unboxing and complete overview on the design and the build quality now what i'll do is i'll just power it on set it up use it for a few days and be right back to continue the review all right so what i'll do now is first i'll tell you about the display The Honor's Magic Watch 2 comes in two variants: 46 mm variant and 42 mm variant. The one I have right now is a 46 mm variant, and this model comes with a 1.39 inch AMOLED circular touchscreen display. Yes, that is right. It's got a beautiful AMOLED display. The text on it looks sharp, crisp, and everything is easily readable. The colors are just punchy and vibrant, all thanks to that AMOLED panel. So even if you use this smartwatch in bright daylight conditions, you have no sort of problems with visibility. And as you can see, this watch also has always-on display. You can either turn it on or off from the settings. And as you can see, this is how always-on display looks like. Talking about watch faces, this watch has a lot of built-in watch faces. I'll show you the watch faces in a moment. First, let me show you all the features and functions. So this is how the UI looks like. You can do a lot of gestures and navigations, you know, swiping up and down and a lot of other things. As you can see this watch has two buttons over here the top one is a power slash multi function button so you can either use this power uh, power button to wake it up or by pressing this button you can access all the menu and stuff on this watch so that is what this up button does and the below bottom button is a custom button guys so you can assign it to a different uh, different task from the settings right now by default it has been assigned to the workout section so by pressing this button you can quickly access the workouts So as you can see on this default watch face it shows a lot of info like the current heart rate that has been recently measured and air pressure altitude the number of steps taken weather and a lot of other info if you want to change the watch face on it you just need to press and hold on the home screen like this and there you go that is how you can access a lot of different watch faces 
So swiping down on the home screen brings up the notifications panel and quick settings. You've got a lot of shortcuts over here and along with that it shows you the battery percentage, Bluetooth connection status, the current date and time and coming to the quick toggle settings you've got do not disturb mode. There's a mode function called as show time and along with that it, you've got find your phone feature, alarm settings and a settings tab. By pressing this you can quickly access all the settings available on this watch. We'll check out the settings in a moment. First let's also check out the other stuff. By swiping up on the home screen you can check out all the notifications which you've received on your phone. For this guys you need to pay the watch with your phone via Bluetooth then only you will be able to check out the notifications. And also one more thing, you can just check out the notifications and read them. There is no option to uh, reply to them directly from the watch. And by swiping left or right, you can quickly access a lot of applications present on the watch. So let me show them to you one by one. First on the list, we've got the heart rate monitoring. This watch supports continuous heart rate measuring. So as you can see, it's right now measuring your heart rate. As soon as you open that panel, it automatically starts measuring your heart rate. And next we've got the stress monitoring function. Yes, the watch also supports stress monitoring. And along with that, it also supports sleep monitoring function as well, guys. So you can wear this watch overnight and the watch will tell you the quality and give you a complete analysis on your, you know, sleep quality. Then we've got the weather panel where it shows you the weather. We've got a music player. Uh, this watch comes with 4 GB of built-in memory guys and out of that 2 GB is available. So you can store up to 500 songs on this watch and directly play them on the watch itself or you can use a watch as a remote to control music on your phone or you can even pair any wireless Bluetooth uh, with the watch and control music and listen to them on your wireless earbuds. And then next what do we have? We've got the activity panel. This is where it shows you your current fitness activities which you've done for that particular day. Like the number of steps taken, all the different outdoor activities you've done and all that summary guys. Okay, so that was our quick look and complete overview on the UI and the interface. As you can see the UI feels pretty smooth, I had no sort of issues with the touch as well. The watch is pretty fast and responsive thanks to the latest chipset present on it, Huawei's Kirin AI chipset which is pretty nice. By pressing this button over here, you can get access to the complete menu and features available on it. So let me quickly show you one by one. The first one we have over here is the workout menu guys. This is where you can access all your uh, sports and fitness related activities. It's got 15 goal based fitness related modes like there's a complete dedicated running course which includes 13 different kinds of running activities. That is pretty awesome right like you've got running, walking primary, advanced walking, easy casual running, fat burning type exercises and a lot more different type of running activities. So that is completely about running and apart from that you've got other activities like you know cycling, swimming uh, uh, and diving, climbing, hiking, trail run and a lot of other sport activities. So talking about these sports, this is a GPS enabled smartwatch guys. So that means you don't need a smartphone for this tracking feature. It already has a built in GPS plus GLONASS function. So as soon as you activate any of this function and just press this down button, it will automatically catch up GPS and give you a dedicated voice based guidance on how to perform your activity. So yeah, that was completely about workout and activity session. Over here, you can check out all your previous workout records. Like suppose this one is what I've done today. Over here, it gives you a complete analysis of your, you know, how much distance you've traveled, fitness related activities, number of steps taken, average speed, average pace, and you know, all those info, elevation, how much height you've climbed, heart rate info. Then we've got pace, cadence, a lot of info over here guys, very detailed info. So this watch is great for all the fitness related people. Okay, then going next, we've got the call logs where you can check all your recent call activities, contacts. For this contacts guys, you have to import all your favorite contacts. And from this contact section, you just have to click any of those contacts app and that will automatically dial to that particular person. And you can directly talk to that person from the smartwatch itself. As I've told you before, this thing comes with a built-in microphone as well as a speaker. So you can directly talk to that person from the watch itself. Then going next, we've got the music player. In this music player, it can, you know you can play a lot of music which is stored on the smartwatch. You can either use a built-in speaker to get the sound or connect a wireless earphones via Bluetooth and listen to the music or you can even use this as a remote to play music on your smartphone. 
a lot of functions and features available pretty good then we've got the air pressure app where it shows you the current air pressure altitude of the location that you're present at that is also nice then we've got compass as well so as you can see it shows you the compass over here we've got the notifications app where it shows you all the notifications which you've received on your phone and for this you have to be connected you know you have to connect the smartwatch to the phone all the time to be able to receive all your notifications in real time but the only thing is you cannot reply to these notifications from the watch it just shows you what you've received over here we've got the weather app we have also have a stopwatch function over here timer as well alarms feature flashlight and coming to settings i've already shown you all the settings available on this smartwatch so that's it guys these were all the available apps and features functions everything on this smartwatch so now what i'll do is i'll quickly wear this watch on my hand and we'll talk about the heart rate monitoring function so talking about the heart rate heart rate monitor can be easily accessed guys from the home screen itself you just need to swipe left like this and there you go it opens up the heart rate page and automatically starts tracking your heart rate it's got a continuous heart rate monitor and i have to say from my experience the heart rate monitor was working well and was giving accurate results almost 90 percent of the time and yes i haven't told you about the comfort right the watch feels pretty comfortable to wear for you know long time usage it feels very nice the quality of the band is good and i have no sort of issues in the comfort section and talking about my experience using this bluetooth calling feature on this watch let me tell you the microphone and the speaker quality was very good i was quite impressed especially with the built-in speaker the speaker was loud clear and i was able to hear the other person who was speaking on the call very clearly on this watch now let me tell you about the battery life the company says that on an average the magic watch 2 offers around like 14 days of battery life on a single charge but based on my usage and experience you know with a typical moderate kind of use with the always on display on and uh, light fitness activities every day check in with continuous heart rate monitoring bluetooth calling once in a while i would say the battery life was pretty excellent for a smartwatch of this price range and talking about the charging it comes with this magnetic charging dock you just need to connect it to any 5 volt dc source and bring it close where it automatically snaps on and starts charging your smartwatch very convenient and easy way of charging your watch well that's pretty much it that was my detailed review on honor's magic watch to smartwatch it's a very good smartwatch for the price it's got a premium design with stainless steel body has a beautiful amoled display it's 50 meters waterproof supports bluetooth calling gps plus glonus for tracking all your sport activities and offers really good battery life but there are a few things I was not that satisfied on the watch. First one is the company says that it supports personalized custom watch faces, but it's not available on iOS. It works only on Android phones. Also, the watch is very much dependent on the Huawei's health app. Like if you want to change some settings or activate some features or even for adding contacts for Bluetooth calling, all of them are dependent on the app itself. You can't directly do that from the watch. And lastly, few features on it are only available on Android phones and doesn't support iOS. Like as I've told you just now, you can't add personalized watch faces or control the music wirelessly through the watch if you have an iPhone. Apart from that, rest everything else was great. The charcoal black 46mm variant costs around 12,999 rupees. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that's it for today. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you in the next one.